Paris, the heart of the avant-garde had a bit of a German problem at the moment, and the modern art scene moved to New York. So you could definitely say that Jackson and Pollock were at the right place at the right time. Pollock were portrayed as a cowboy with a forty and drinking problems, and favored the art of Picasso and Miro. But he could easily be called a surrealist, as he painted from unconsciousness. And he's best known for his paint dripping works, inspired by native Navajo sand art. It seemed as he had taken modern art as far as it goes, but he never truly gave up on figurative representation. In the 50s, Jackson's drinking problems were getting out of hands, like crashing into a tree and die kind of out of hands. Pollock dismissed the idea of his style being classed as truly American, as he himself considered it contemporary and with the times, and always had to defend his dripping paintings being criticized as being made by chance, but in reality it was controlled by his heart. 